are now going to read through making the changes to Edward VI, 1547 to 1553. As I do so, follow the words with your finger. Making the changes to Edward VI, 1547 to 1553. Edward VI was only nine when he became king. He and all his advisers were strongly Protestant. They began to create a Protestant church. Priests were told to wear simple white robes, not colourful ones. Priests had to replace stone altars with wooden tables. In 1549, a new prayer book was written by the Archbishop Thomas Cramner. It was in English. In Thomas Cramner's second prayer book of 1552, an astonishing change was made. The old Catholic Mass was replaced by a much simpler service. There were no executions. One Catholic bishop was imprisoned for not accepting the changes. Protestants worked hard to persuade people to accept the changes. But some people carried on worshipping peacefully in the old ways. In Lancashire, many Catholics managed to avoid the changes altogether. Now turn to the page that says Mary the First, 1553 to 1558. Mary the First, 1553 to 1558. Mary was a Roman Catholic. She changed everything back again. The Pope became head of the Church of the English again. All the changes made were cancelled. Services were once again in Latin. Mary began to persecute the Protestants. During her reign, about 300 Protestants were burned to death. One of these people was Thomas Cramner. Coping with the changes, ordinary lives. Ordinary people were caught up in the changes. Ordinary people do not always hold the same beliefs as their ruler. Sometimes people changed their minds freely. Sometimes they were forced to change their minds. Sometimes they fled to other countries where they hoped to be safer. During Mary's reign, it was dangerous to be a Protestant. Some very famous and important people were burnt at the stake. But most of the people burnt in Mary's reign were ordinary people. We know quite a lot about some of these people because their stories are written in a book. This book is called The Book of Martyrs and was written by John Fox. John Fox was a Protestant. In his book, he made all Catholics appear wicked and cruel. He wanted his readers to remember the courage and faith of the Protestants. Here is a picture from Fox's book. It shows four people being burnt to death for their beliefs.